Alright guys, how's it going? Um, hope you're having a good morning. I'm drinking some coffee right now. And let's get into it. Okay, so um, program, I'll just exit out of this so it looks cooler. So, um, what I'm teaching today is just uh, or reviewing. I'm not really teaching. Um, you can learn something from this if you want. But um, again, I'm just doing a review of what I've learned. Um, so, there you have it. Let's go. Okay, so uh, we're doing curly braces formatting, and I'm just showing you what that can do from my skill level. And that is. Whoops, I don't need to do that, sorry. Okay, here we go. So, this is what you can do with curly brace formatting. So you see we printed this out, and like in the other video, I'm going to say that I did not print, actually type some of this. Um, and see if you can see the error that I made and uh, before the video ends. I'm going to point it out at the end. It's pretty easy, but the sooner the better. So, I said right here, my name is Brandon Ruiz, blah, 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 I'm pleased to meet you. So, I will highlight the things that I actually did not type in, from what I can remember, until I look at it. She's hot. She's hot. She's hot. My people are... I, most people love today because it's Friday, the first American Lord of the Rings. Okay, so let's see what you have to code to print that. Boom, right here. Here it is. Okay, so we set up, so curly brace formatting. So we already went over um, variables. Actually, no, we didn't, so I'm sorry for this. Go back to the variables video if you want to know that. So, um, we have some variables here. Um, so, we set those up first before we can format anything um, so that, you know, <clears throat> so the computer recognizes what we're trying to do, obviously. And then, uh, just drinking some coffee. So, we got the curly brace formatting there and we got the so this is the format that you right format the format that you need to use for this formatting um, it's dot format and then open close parentheses so that would look um, like this um, dot format open close right and then you put the variable name la 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 right there so um and unlike the uh, the other formatting, where it's just a uh, right, like you put print s hello, you close it, and then you put the that, and you put this in there, right? And let, that's only if you have two, though. If you have one, then you just put it right there. But um, so it's different, right? You can see the difference between that and then what we have anywhere on one of these. I did one in French, if you can see. Um, for people who are watching this in French, uh, if anyone watches this at all, um, I apologize if the spelling is wrong, but that from what I know, that's correct. So anyways, let's get into it. So here, I actually, uh, on this one, so what you can do is you can actually combine two variables by just putting the plus sign within the open and close parentheses, or... Um, yeah, parentheses, yeah, at the end. So, um, that's what I did with a uh, back around. So I did, uh, I will meet you tomorrow at the p pizza place around back, actually. So, uh, that was, that was cute. And what I did right here is I had to put a space after the, instead of just how all these other ones are, I had to do this in order for that to look appropriate. Um, because otherwise it'd just be, like, around back, but no space in between those words. And uh, I got some easy variable names right here. Um, you know, I could have made these letters too, um, but they're kind of harder to 
read the you know the whole script if you're um, I think it's called script but yeah so um, you know I had some fun just typing stuff I like um, Alicia Vikander Alicia Vikander watched a video she was like answering questions and she's she was pronouncing it that way so I was like oh <laughs> pronounced it wrong anyways so gotta get back to this um pretty simple to see that um so the mistake I made was on purpose so I well I didn't do it on purpose but I left it there was um shit what was it yeah right here I didn't put the space I didn't do that see it shows up in the program uh, right here boom looks weird so just those little spaces in between anything really makes a difference um, not anything but those little things uh, what's something else yeah you don't need to uh, fuck what was it shit for that it's okay um, I mean, I just uh, hope you guys still know what all this, uh, the basic printing and variable shit is. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, you need the commas in here if you're doing multiple, like see right there. Um, so after, within parent, it seems to be that within parentheses, if you're putting more than two things, you're going to need a comma, right? Um, so like if I put a B, right, and I wanted to format something another thing in there. Then I would have to put a comma. Cause it like let's let's try it out. Right. See, that worked. Where is it? By back around. But if I didn't put the comma, just put the space. It ain't gonna work, man. See, can't open invalid argument. I don't know why it's printing it out like that though. That's a little bit different. But anyways, so we can go back. We know what it is. We just fix it. Boom, like that. Bada beam, bada boom. And you don't need that extra space right there. Wait, what's this? Okay, let's see why this is happening. Huh. Anyways, uh, that's all the video because this is going to take a long while. So, um, But actually, I want you guys to see how I fix this. This is saved. It's saying it. Oh, it was because that little slash. Boom. All right. Have a good day, guys. Bye.